You know, if you are going to be a leader on sustainability, let's get it right. I don't think that we should objectify women. As some of you know, I really admire Paul Pullman's work in communication on sustainability, including his sustainable living plan, which you can read on the web. Uh, I've read all 24 pages, and I would encourage my colleagues um, at Thinkers 50 List to also read the Sustainable Living Plan by Unilever. It's a wonderful document uh, that Paul Pullman has put together with his team. The um, topic today, though, that I'd like to address is the Axe and Lynx ads. They've been causing quite a stir um, and a lot of upset feelings um, around the globe. And there's one ad most recently that has 800 dislikes on YouTube. It's called Office Love. And um, to highlight how it feels, um, I have actually uh, changed my Twitter photo. It has uh, been called one of the most sexist ads ever by Huffington Post women. Uh, there are as many men concerned about this ad as women. If you look at the tweets, you will notice that. And, uh, there are now two petitions, one specifically about this ad um, at change.org. The other petition at petitionsonline.com, I am not buying any Unilever products right now until this um, issue is resolved and I hear from Paul Pullman on this matter. And if we are going to raise the self-esteem of young men and young women, I do not see these ads as helping. I also am concerned about health and well-being, about promoting these kinds of ads. I would like to see the Axe and Lynx ads pulled, and I would like to see an entirely different advertising strategy, and I would be happy to coach a marketing team on this as well. So I would like to just say, um, in closing, that leaders, it took us about four months to get women into Augusta through tweets and videos. We did a video uh, during the Masters four months later, later. In August, we got women into Augusta by tweeting Jack Welch, Boone Pickens, Donald Trump, Bill Gates and others, and I want to thank you all for following me. I'd like to particularly thank Paul Pullman for listening. And I want to, again, compliment you on the Sustainable Living Plan, which is a remarkable document. And I look forward to continuing the dialogue into the future. Many thanks.